Oblivion. It's a classic. But why? Well, unlike most classics, its status wasn't gained for the usual reasons. You see, after my stay in Cyrodiil, I would describe Oblivion as a lower quality version of Skyrim with a broken AI tech demo on the side. Now when I say at its core it's not as good as Skyrim, that's no reason to send Steven Seagal to go kill me. Let me explain. Games as a medium should get better as time goes on, due to their correlation with technology. It's a good thing for sequels to surpass their predecessors. Now that's not to say that Oblivion is obsolete. It isn't, mainly because it's a meme mine, due to the broken AI I mentioned earlier. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the actual game stuff and why it's worse than its sequel. It's hit the fuck. So in my first 60 hours, I kinda had to run away from pretty much all the enemies. Why? Because the leveling is broken. And no, I will not lower the difficulty. The default difficulty is what the developers intended. It is the definitive difficulty choice. After those weird beginnings, I was actually able to fight the enemies. And I'm still not sure if that is a good thing. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 ooh, ooh, ah. That's what you have to hear about 100 times. When you get into a fight, I often find myself yelling, Why won't you die? Another crummy thing is that the dungeons and the ruins that you go into always look suspiciously similar. Nothing screams adventure like going into a similar looking cave and fighting a similar looking enemy as it takes a similar amount of time to kill them. This sort of gameplay loop of fun becomes particularly apparent during the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild quest. Long story short, I did not like them. Now that we've gotten all that negativity out of the way, it's time for Fiesta Fun Time. Nice stuff to say. There actually were some quest lines I enjoyed. Let's name them. The Knights of Nine was pretty neat. Reading lore as I did the quest was quite a treat. The last Thieves Guild quest felt like a heist. I don't know, what rhymes with heist? I also liked the Dark Brotherhood. Should you play that one? I think you should. MC Nami out. Now I wish to talk about how this game is a giant meme. It's mostly due to the NPCs having an IQ of around five. In other words, Radiant AI. It, it just works. No, it doesn't, Todd. Yes, it doesn't just work. At least in the way it's supposed to. In fact, it's best that it turned out this way. Sometimes it's nice to just go into the local tavern and listen to the citizens talk about news from the other provinces. But the thing is, it's nothing I'd like to talk about. <laughs> If you guys want to check out just how hilarious the AI is, I advise you take a look at this guy's channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Now there are two things that Skyrim doesn't have. The adoring fan. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura! It's the grand champion! In Maglia. Payday! Let's roll! Enough said. Huh? <laughs> Sounds like it's time to raid and rank. I had fun playing this game, but I also had the opposite of fun. It does do many things worse than Skyrim, but it does have its fair share of cool quests to balance it out. I just wish that the combat and the dungeons were better. I do think that the quirks of the game for Radiant AI do help make this game a classic. So after much deliberation, I've decided to give this game a... 4 out of 5. On the top games list, I'm going to put it at number 6. Next time, I'll be reviewing Yakuza 0. It looks like a surefire way to become a weeb. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.